Police are trying to figure out who shot and killed a man who dedicated more than 30 years to the Missouri Department of Corrections. Now, this is so scary. Two years ago, Tom Clements became the head of the Colorado Corrections Department. The investigation into his death is happening as the governor signs new laws to curb gun violence. Police are searching for clues for why someone killed the director of the Colorado Department of Corrections. Tom Clements was gunned down Tuesday night when he answered the door of his home near Colorado Springs. Police do not have a suspect, but they are looking for a car, neighbors saw. Clements was 58, took the top job at the Department of Corrections after a 30 year career in Missouri. We're sensitive to the fact that that opens up the possibilities for different people who may want to target him for one reason or another. However, we remain open minded to all the other possibilities as well. Governor John Hinkelooper expressed disbelief at the shooting. Tom Clements dedicated his life to being a public servant, to making our state better, to making the world a better place, and he is going to be deeply, deeply missed. The governor signed new legislation Wednesday aimed at stopping gun violence. Family members who have lost loved ones attended. Sandy Phillips' daughter, Jessica, was killed in the Colorado movie theater shooting eight months ago. This bill is going to save lives. We may never see the lives that are saved, but we know we're saving lives. But the Phillips also say they do not want to take away the right to own a gun. We don't want to take the hunter's rights away. We don't want to take anybody's guns away. We just want some middle ground, common sense legislation, and this is the beginning. The new regulations limit high capacity magazines and expand background checks in Colorado. Now, Colorado's governor plans to visit Clement's wife and two daughters. Police say a family member inside the house at the time of the shooting called 911 for help.